Senator Tom Adda says security at the port cannot be taken lightly. And um, security of the port begins with ensuring that we have people who have been properly cleared uh, and uh, at least the threat of disruption to that port uh, with respect to the personnel working down there uh, is minimized. During Wednesday night's oversight hearing, senators questioned port management on issues ranging from hiring, transportation workers' identification credential cards, and whether security has been breached. General Manager Mary Torres says of 374 port employees, 25 do not hold a TWIC card, nor are they required to. However, she says the ultimate goal is for everyone to obtain a TWIC card to have access to secured and restricted areas. I know that, that uh, <laughs> what, was, what was explained to me um, was that ultimately they would like most people in, uh, most people in the port to eventually have TWIC cards. Torres admitted that of those who are required to have a TWIC card, three employees don't have them as the Transportation Security Administration determined they were ineligible. Operations Manager John Sanchez said the lack of TWIC card for those specific employees requires them to be escorted. He adds once an employee gets hired, it's the employee's responsibility to apply for a TWIC card. However, there are some cracks in the policy of informing the employer. So if, if, you, if, if I apply for a TWIC card, I think within 30 days I'm supposed to get some sort of notice back. The question would be, um, how do the employer know? And that's what we're trying to set up a policy uh, in place so it doesn't fall through. But Senator Adda pointed out that there are gaps in place as one of the individuals who lacked a TWIC card was put on payroll, but the port was unaware he didn't have a card until five months later. So uh, I'm, I'm just trying to you know, point out the fact that I'm glad that you're doing a gap analysis because, boy, I see some big gaps here. The gap analysis couldn't come soon enough as TWIC cards that were first issued in September 2008 and last for five years are set to expire. Meanwhile, relative to the recent cargo checker at the port working without a TWIC card, Torres says pending final resolution as to whether TSA will deny the employee a TWIC card, she ultimately has the authority to terminate the employee. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.